Carry, 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 carry. The more you try to dig yourself out of the hole that you and to a bigger extent Donald Trump have put you into, the worse you get your, make yourself uh, get. By now all of you have heard that on Christmas Eve, the judge in the case of Kerry Lake trying to overturn the election for governor in Arizona has failed. It was tossed out. Now she could probably appeal, obviously, but that's gonna fail too, considering the scathing decision from the judge saying that they brought no proof that the election was fraudulent or stolen. And Carrie's trying to dig herself out. Well, his, her attorneys are probably trying to dig herself out by saying that the, the, um, the lawsuit was in good faith. That's the word they choose to use, good faith. Carrie, let's not fuck each other up the ass here. You brought that lawsuit because you thought the playbook Donald Trump used was going to work. It didn't. You thought that somehow if I sued enough people or brought up enough lawsuits or stirred up enough problems that somehow I'll get, I'll make, I'll become the new governor without the election, even though you lost the election. Fact is, Kerry, following Donald Trump has done nothing but make things worse for you. Following the example of Donald Trump has been done nothing but made things worse for you. Following that example is what's going to destroy you, should destroy your political career. Although we know it's probably not going to, considering the fact you've made millions of dollars off this. But and not, not to mention the fact the attention of the MAGA freaks you represent. But it's okay, though. I mean, if I want the attention of people, I'll go after the attention of people like me. People who believe in democracy, believe in equal rights for all people. You, on the other hand, want to scrape the bomb of the barrel and say that basically that every unless I win, every election is stolen. Look how well that worked for Donald Trump. Look at how that well is working for Donald Trump right now. You're following a man and following the example of a man who spent Christmas Eve and Christmas Day still screaming that he won the election, still screaming that it was stolen from him without showing the slightest bit of proof. Not to mention the fact that the guy is a deeply disturbed, mentally emotional man. Maybe his wife isn't giving him enough good loving. I know I, I know I wouldn't be surprised at that. Maybe maybe that's that. Maybe he got some bad cocaine from a, from his drug dealer. But when you when when you need to but when you have the intellectual need to follow a man who has lied about everything that comes out of his mouth carry and try to follow that example, that's a recipe for injury. Now your lawyers, their careers are over. They're probably gonna get disbarred. They're probably gonna be banned from practicing law for life. Some of them, if I ever had my view, they would pay through the nose for court costs. If I'm the Maricopa County uh, uh, Secretary of State, if I'm the Arizona Secretary of State and you challenge my integrity without a bit of proof and proof and the proof was on the, on their side, your ass is going to court and I'm gonna sue you for everything you have. You see, you put this whole thing on yourself, Carrie, the second you decide to be Donald Trump's butt girl the second you tried to act as Donald, being the surrogate, the female Donald Trump, when all you've become is nothing more than a no-account thug. You lost the election. Dust yourself off, and maybe you'll run in two more years, maybe. Maybe you'll run another office. Maybe in 2024, Donald Trump will select you as, v as VP. 
God help us if that happens, considering how terrible you were as a candidate for governor. But who knows? CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.